Okay. Um, can you give us your thoughts on how the remaining uh, redevelopment agency, the RDA funds, should be used? Oh, um, I really haven't thought a whole lot about how those funds should be used, to be honest with you. Okay. okay. All right. Um, there's been a lot of talk about doing something uh, to improve the downtown district and um, I was doing some research yesterday and the this discussion has gone back as far as 2004. Um, so what do you recommend the City Council do to improve what we call the downtown dis district of Mesquite Boulevard and Sand Hill Boulevard? Well I think with businesses that are wanting to come here that there's ways that we can help them want to be downtown, that we can take those structures that are there and we do something with them to get the businesses in there. Um, I know of a couple businesses that, that I've spoke to that are looking to come in, um, but there's roadblocks on who owns what property, who has this, who has that. Well, we don't want to give you this, we don't want to give you that. We don't want to redevelop it, we want to leave it the way it is. Um, and, and that's a big roadblock for people. Mm -hmm. um, so how, how can you redevelop it or make it thrive if you're fighting it the whole way? You, you need to make those buildings available, make that property available for people so they can do something with them. Okay. okay. Keeping on the same kind of theme, uh, give us your thoughts on, and not necessarily on this uh, Flying J project that was in the news recently, but um, give us your thoughts on the Flying J project and others like that in terms of balancing business concerns with the concerns um, of the residents in terms of economic development in our city. Well, there's a lot of things that people are asking for. They're asking for um, different quality of restaurants. They're wanting, they want a strip mall really bad. There's a lot of places here that um, you could put a small strip mall so people can shop here. People want to support our town, our community, and they don't want to have to go somewhere else. And so if these properties, I mean, we do, we have, you know, there's that opportunity for um, I-18. 118. 118. Mm -hmm. That they could, you know, when NDOT was here, they had talked about the fact that it wouldn't take a lot to push it through if we had somebody out there that wanted to do more. And, you know, the Flying J could have been really good out there. Um, and it would have been out where people could come and go. It would service that road that we've built for the industry. Um, and you could get a small strip mall out on that line or even up where the star is. I mean, I, I think there's other businesses that could come in. Um, even a, a Call center. A lot of different companies have call centers all over the world. We'd be a great place for a call center. Mm -hmm. You know, we we've got a lot of things to offer. We just need to promote. We need to we need to be speak positive about mesquite any chance we get. Forget whatever negative is going on and and spill the positive. Okay. okay. Um, give us your thoughts on the proposed noise noise ordinance that's uh, coming up on City Council next week um, <coughs> in terms of a medium that must be struck between business needs and residential needs and how do you strike that balance? Well I think this, the city has a noise ordinance and they've never really um, followed through on it. You know, they they have policies that they don't follow through on. Um, the noise level, I, I'm surprised that with all the people that have come forward and spoke that it's too loud. Can't you do something about it? Even if they, whatever they can and can't do about it, raising the level is definitely the wrong thing to do. Um, I, I can't see how they can even think about doing that. Sure, business has to thrive. Business is thriving. 
but why raise it? There are a lot of people that live around there, and it does have to be both business and community friendly. If you're gonna if you're gonna set rules, then you need to enforce them. And if you don't enforce what you have now, how can you make go, even think about making it louder and and more hurtful for the citizens around it? Okay. Okay. Last question. Uh, describe one single issue that you would ad advocate for, and how would you do that? I think a big issue is the fact that people never get answers. We have public comment at the beginning, we have public comment at the end, we have some public comment during the, the agenda items, but people ask questions, they never get answers. I think that it needs to be added a time to where the, at the next meeting or the one after, people on the, on the council need to go out and find the answers for these people and bring it back and have an answer time. If they don't call it anything else, have an answer time. People have a right to, to ask questions and get answers. The fact that you can't communicate, I can understand why you don't have big open discussions and get into things that could be out of line. But I think when people ask questions, they deserve a right to the answer, and that would be one of my main issues, I think. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, in conclusion, are there any comments that you would like to pass on to the public um, for the upcoming election campaign? All I'd really like to say is, is, I think, really look over all of us. Look at what they have to say. Um, it's not going to be and easy, open and shut. Everybody's got something good. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody's got something bad. Um, I think when I first thought about doing this, people came and asked me to do it. Um, and I think that's, that was an important issue for me is that people thought I could do something for them, that I would listen and approachable. Um, don't always have the answer, but I'm more than willing to go out and find the answer. And I think due diligence is extremely important on the city council. Yeah. If you don't do your due diligence, then you're not doing the public any good. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Sandra. Um, we appreciate your time with the Mesquite Citizen Journal today, and we wish you good luck in the upcoming um, election. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, John.